So Sarah, if you could start out by telling me what Vampire Academy is about. Vampire Academy is a story about two young women who uh, have to go back to St. Vladimir's Academy and deal with the evil and uh, things that are going on and, and kind of chasing them as well as normal everyday high school issues. So it's uh, it's very hard for them but uh, the fact that their friendship is so strong it makes it better. And tell me about your character Natalie. Natalie is a very um, at first she's very lovable and a little bit annoying an unfortunate unpopular girl in high school and when Rose and Lissa come back to St. Vlad's they befriend her to stay under the radar because who better? <laughs> who She has no friends. Her best friend is gossip and she's a daddy's girl to the extreme. Was it fun for you to play this character that sort of has different dimensions and you know starts out one way then we see something else in her? It was really fun. Um, it, it's something different than uh, it's different than anything I've ever done before. And um, and I just, I love her because there's there's these things that you can add to her. There's, there's this physicality and uh, the way that she talks and how fast she talks and all of this kind of stuff. And, you know, the transformation that she has over the course of the film, um, you kind of see true colors. And... Uh, and I, I don't, I don't know what I can or cannot say, but it's, uh, it's really fun. It was a lot of fun to do. You touched on this a little bit, but uh, Saint Vlad's is a very special, unique place. Yes. Um, but it also deals with a lot of things that normal teenagers in high school deal with. So tell me about that. Tell me about, you know, sort of the day-to-day -day drama and gossip and those elements, as well as the special kind of training they do there. Um. Well, the training that they do there is to learn how to harness their powers, because uh, the Maroi have uh, special elemental powers on top of being a vampire and living off of blood. Um, but And then the Dampir, who are half vampire, they have heightened senses, they don't feed off of blood, uh, but they're there to learn how to protect Maroi. So they're basically just there to learn how to be badass and fight all the time. And the history of, of St. Vlad's and, and their species and everything. So um, so there's that, but then it, it also is a normal high school. You know, these kids are high school aged, and um, there's the drama that comes with girls stealing each other's boyfriends and best friends stabbing others in the back. And uh, you know, the, the, then there's the unpopular girl that's kind of just like witnessing it all because she has nothing to do with anything. So um, so it's it's one of those things where it's a really cool thing to see. It's kind of like a mix of uh, a, a normal vampire movie in Hogwarts, you know? Like, because in Hogwarts you have these wizards that, uh, you know, if they're hurt by an ex-boyfriend, they are, can put a spell on them, you know? I mean, it's kind of the same issues. The movie has so many different elements to it. I mean, there's comedy, there's drama, there's action, there's romance which makes it really fun. So tell me about that, how it kind of blends so many different things into one movie. The great thing about Vampire Academy is that it does blend all genres together, really, you know? Um, and that's why I think everybody will love it, because there's explosions and action sequences that guys are going to die over. And uh, there's romance, and uh, the guys are going to die over the sexuality of the romance with a certain hottie in her underwear. <laughs> and then the girls are going to love uh, just the hot guys, the friendships, the female empowerment that the movie brings, which I think is so amazing. And Daniel and Mark Waters, who are behind it, are just so wonderful in bringing this sadistic, kind of twisted attitude kind of humor that is just uh, for everybody. I think it's wonderful. And let's talk about some of your castmates. Um, tell me about working with Lucy and Zoe. Lucy and Zoe are so amazing. I love them so much. Um, I actually really miss them. I know they're here, but I have not seen them yet. Um, I, the first day that I met Zoe, I immediately clicked with her. She kind of reminds me of me at uh, at her age. And so uh, we're just kind of like very over the top. We're very loud. We were very loud. We were filming in London, and people could tell we were American, not by our accents, but by how loud we were. Um, and then Lucy is just kind of this fairy angel who's so tall and beautiful and majestic and just so classy that it, she just made me and Zoe kind of feel like we're a little, I don't know, like goblins by her side, like creating mischief and <laughs> 
crossing the line and with jokes and everything like that. But everyone is so amazing. I made such wonderful friends that I still hang out with us to this day. That's great. That's very nice. Do you have any um, particular favorite moments from the film or anything that you think audiences are going to get excited about seeing? I think the end of the film is going to be amazing. I, it's just the whole action sequence is just so wonderful. Um, I'm so excited for people to see it. Um, but I think the greatest thing about it um, morally is just uh, that these girls aren't damsels in distress, that they fight for themselves and they fight for their friendship and uh, they fight for what's right and I think that's really important for um, young people to learn these days. Yeah, it's nice to see. Now it's also based on a very popular book series yes. um, with a very, very rabid fan base who love the books. What can they expect when they see this come to life? What can they get excited about? Um, everything? I don't know. They've been so supportive since the casting was even announced and we weren't even filming yet. So um, they've made amazing fan art and um, I, I don't know. I just, I hope they like it even more than I hope I like it or like my friends and family like it because this really is, I feel like this movie is for them and Rochelle. And, um, and I just, I don't know. I think they'll love, they will definitely love Zoe and Lucy for, for sure because they're so amazing and they, bring these characters to life and it's so, it's so 